SOWN free Muslim organizations at high level form on combating anti-Muslim discrimination and hatred. United Nations hosted a high level form on combating anti-Muslim discrimination, opening a panel for different government representatives and members of Islamic organizations. The two human rights organization of Shia Rights Watch and Free Muslim affiliated to Imam Shwaji Walt Foundation were also among the invitees. For more details, we have had a phone call with Mr. Mustafa Akhwand, the executive director of SOW. On January 17th, the permanent missions of the United States and Canada to the United Nations, the permanent observer mission of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation to the United Nations, and the European Union delegation to the United Nations jointly hosted the high-level forum on combating anti-Muslim discrimination and hatred. The director of Free Muslim Association, Mr. Mustafa Akhvant, and the director of Shia Rights Watch Organization, Mr. Mustafa Akhvant, both have attended this high-level forum alongside with more than 100 activists on human rights with the hope of gathering all tools possible to combat anti-Muslim discrimination nationally and internationally. The day-long event at the United Nations examines the rise of anti-Muslim discrimination and hatred globally from the perspective of governmental, non-governmental and the private sector representatives. It will also focus on best practices to combat anti-Muslim discrimination and highlight the strategies that promote positive narratives of pluralism. Forum participants will provide recommendations on effective responses by all sectors of society to address the continued challenge of all forms of discrimination and hatred on the basis of religion or belief in all parts of the world. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres offered a video message to open the forum. U.S. Special Envoy to Muslim Communities Sharik Zafar, Acting U.S. Special Envoy to the Organization of Islamic Cooperation Arsalan Suleiman, U.S. Ambassador at Large for International Religious Freedom David Sopperstein, and U.S. Deputy Permanent Representative to the United Nations Michel Sison also participated in the high level forum and offered remarks. This high level forum highlighted the growing challenges of anti Muslim discrimination and hatred in various contexts and focused on substantive tools for addressing them. Three interactive panels considered important and complementary tools to combat anti Muslim discrimination and hatred in anti discrimination law enforcement, civil society coalition building, and positive narratives to promote pluralism and inclusion. Panelists include government, civil society, and private sector representatives. They assess the scope of rising anti-Muslim discrimination and hatred worldwide, compare government and provide sector responses, share best practices, and provide concrete recommendations for combating anti-Muslim discrimination and hatred. Mr. Ahwan reiterates, Muslims around the world have the opportunity to reverse the hateful acts of violence by Daesh or other terrorist groups by promoting peaceful aspects of Islamic ideology, and a standing for rights of all individuals regardless of skin color, faith or belief, as well as all human beings were created equal. Assalamu alaikum. The highlight form of combating anti-Muslim discrimination and hatred was sponsored by Permanent Mission of Canada, United States and OIC, which is the Organization of Islamic Corporation and Delegate from European Union to the United Nations. The focus of the program and the forum was to highlight the growing challenge of anti-Muslim discrimination and consider the importance of uh, complementary tools to combat anti-Muslim discrimination. There were governments, civil society, private sector representatives who attended this program uh, to talk about the issue of discrimination against the Muslim, at the same time uh, talk about the discrimination that is happening to the minorities in different countries, especially to the West and the Middle East, and uh, find the ways to combat those uh, discrimination. Uh, the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, was 
uh, opened the session and followed by the special rapporteurs and the special representative of the human rights talking about those discrimination in different countries. Canada had a very big role on that. They were talking about the issues that is happening uh, in the Middle East and the U.S. Uh, Canada was very supportive of what is going on against the uh, Muslims and trying to prevent those discrimination, especially in Canada and the and United States. David Saperstein, the U.S. Ambassador at Large of International Religious Freedom, spoke about the violence and discrimination that is happening to the minorities, especially Shia Muslims, which was uh, one of the kind that he and the others uh, representative talk about the Shia Muslims uh, in those uh, discrimination. Uh, one of the things that uh, our focus as in the Shia Rights Watch was to pre uh, to present them with the cases and the information that they needed to highlight those violations. Uh, after that, there was a conversation of how media and the social media can play a big role against uh, those discrimination and talk about those discrimination, uh, looking for the ways to prevent those in social media. European Union, they were talking about how they are uh, working with the Facebook, Twitter, and other social media to prevent those hatred. At the same time, uh, preventing those people to spread this word of uh, violence and discrimination. There were a, a video that was showing uh, the uh, how unity between the Muslims and Christians uh, worked and what are the ways that we can solve the conflict through uh, conversation, through the communication, through understanding each other. And the closing remark of the program was done by special rapporteurs of freedom of religion and belief who talked about the violence that is uh, going on in different countries, the ways that we can prevent that, the ways that we can talk uh, with the different uh, civil society and with the different governments and with the communities to prevent those conflict uh, and, and or stop those conflict by the ways and means that is uh, provided by the United Nations and the tools that we can use in United Nations and the other and other rules that is applicable to to those uh, violence and prevent is those violence. Uh, we re as as the Shia Rights Watch, uh, we reached the uh, and spoke about the violence that is going on in the Middle East, and he was very supportive of of helping uh, other uh, civil society and the organization to find the ways to prevent those and uh, we had a good conversation with a high level representative of the United Nations and the governments to uh, find the ways to support the Shias, help them uh, to understand who are the Shias, uh, help them to, uh, to help us uh, prevent those discrimination in different countries and we're looking forward to work with the new administration in UN and the new administration that are uh, changing in uh, special as a special rapporteurs and the UN staffs who can help us to uh, look forward to defending Shia rights and defending the human rights uh, preventing those violence against the uh, humanity